first thing is steady. So the roller pins on this skid steer are, uh, well, one of them sheared right off. This one, I think, is missing a bolt. No, this one actually was missing a complete roller. And uh, this one was missing a bolt. And I was just trying to take it off. And the uh, there's nothing on YouTube that says what to do if you have an ASV. So this is a 2004 Cat 247. So to get it off, I've been hacking at this stupid outer plate to try and get it off, and I finally just got through with the screwdrivers. I can't find any of my chisels right now, of course. So I'm just gonna keep pounding around here, and then hopefully this plate will come off. And then I might be able to get to all the pins, because to get one pin off, you can't actually just pull the pin out. Bottoms out against the back of the machine here so you have to take them all out and this inner ring here is just hovering or and you pull it all the way into here and you can push all the bolts out so yeah so i'm going to try and get this plate off now This hasn't been off since new.
the user manual said carefully pry it off. I guess I'll carefully pry it off. It is coming. All right, well, you get an idea of how tight it is. I'll uh, turn it back on when I get the thing off. Oh, finally. Oh, dang, I missed a couple of wolves. Wreck this screwdriver, chip that one, which is supposed to be a hammering one. Oh, that's why it's broken completely off back there. I can pull that off. Uh, maybe. I might be able to get it off. I'm going to pull this whole thing. Because hmm. all these, uh, All these edges in here, you can't really tell right there, but right there. It's completely split. I'll have to weld that a bit. The one down here, I don't know if you can really see that well, but the one back here is uh, ripped in half. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull all of those and then uh, this ring will come in closer to here. And I can weld it right here or something like that, or back here. Because I don't want to pull this, because I gotta pull this seal here. And I don't want to do all that work. And I work on taking all these off. I'll be back once I get those.
it's not rolling straight, you might break the whole piece. See how it's rolling out of sync? Yeah, yeah, I can get that one, I think. Uh, I don't know. Fuck. Well, I'm trying to look it up there. I'm trying to look it up. Tell me if you're losing it again, okay? Okay. I'm trying to fuck you on the car. So I brought it over to my welding friend, and he said just hammer in all the dents. He said he probably don't even need to torch it, but I put a bit of heat on it. It's actually fixed most of them that were pretty bad. Uh, it? This one was the worst, but uh, I can still get a bolt through it, and I've hammered it relatively straight. Yeah, almost most of them cracked. He said just weld it up. Right along the crack he said clean them up really well he said it should be okay he said just make sure to build up a lot above it so it doesn't happen again i figure it's better than spending 300 dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and try and weld this thing up i'm not much of a welder but i'll do my best and i'm gonna i'll take a grinder to all of this part first and then uh get welded
Nice. Clamp it up to here or something and good to go. Well, I'm no means a welder. I got some actually decent welds there. There, that's pretty bad. That's okay. Okay, horrible. That's where I had to bridge the gap and it's huge bubble. I don't know how I'm gonna get it through there, but I'll figure that out. That one's okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But they should hopefully hold at least stronger than the actual metal, so something else will break first, I guess. That one might use a little bit more, but I'm gonna hold it there. Oh, actually, yeah, that one was completely split through. I'm happy with that one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, gonna leave this till tomorrow and I'll come clean it up and uh, then uh, order the pins and stuff tonight, I guess. It's been probably about a month now since I uh, took this apart, maybe even more than that, I don't even remember. Um, but my new bushing and pins are came in, took me forever to find some. So these are actually aftermarket bushing things. The uh, MTLs, whatever, the these steel things apparently have a common wear problem where they, they're just bad because they start wearing out and they start wearing out the inner bushing too. Look how much space is in between there. And one of the new ones. They're tight, tight. Including, I wonder if I want to put the pin in. Yeah, there's hardly any play at all in there. I wonder if these inner bushings, I didn't need to order them, because this, this whole pack was maybe about $500 Canadian, which is pretty rough. For getting one of these. Oh yeah, I probably didn't need to get inner pins. Oh well, that would have saved a couple hundred bucks. I think these are the most expensive part of the whole thing. Because these uh, aftermarket ones actually protect these inner ones from wearing over time. Because you can just replace these. These are only like $5 each, I think. They're dirt cheap. I should have actually bought some for the other side, but the other side are all good. Oh yeah, there's still a bit of play in those too, so the new ones are much better. So... I'm gonna get this whole thing uh, put back together. Take all these old pins. I'm just gonna save these for fixes in the future when something breaks. And I don't want to, you know, pay a lot of money to get it because I think the shipping was almost $200 with duties to get the things here. Pretty rough. But yeah, I'll put it back together and uh, well, I'll put this piece back together and then see if I can slide it in there. And hopefully, it won't take that long, I guess. There's no rush to getting it done. Because then once we get these on, we're going to turn it on the side. And then bolt it back on. And bolt it back on. The, hard, the hardest Wait. part is going to be sliding it in and getting it on the uh, nuts on the inside. Mm -hmm. Wait, does this piece not come off? No. How this is a bearing. So how does it? It's a bit, bit of play in it, but I'm not changing that right now. How, how do we get it on? We gotta slide it on. It just goes. Oh, shoot! The one, John. Do you put it like a? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're okay. gonna tighten these pretty good. The chipmunks are out and scavenging. Hungry. Hungry, hungry. Oh, do you have to hold the back so they spin? Yeah. That was why it was so hard getting it out. I remember I was there for that. Sending for this? Maybe. Are you going randomly or? No, I'm gonna do like a. I don't know, like a car would. Yeah. 
Should I go right to next to this one then, you think? Do, do, do. No, we'll go. Yeah, here. This one? Yeah. I can just roll it. Let me just roll it. Oh. There And then here. And then here. No, here. And then here. Oh, there was one you missed. No, oh. no, you're not going in the triangle then. Oh. Here. I'm counting how many we're doing. Oh. Here. There's ten total, right? Twelve. Twelve? Now I'm gonna go around I'm just gonna round each one. Because I think that's all done. I'm just gonna go make sure they're all tight. Well you'll be able to see where you marked them. Oh no. Twelve. Yeah, you got them all. Yeah, I just wanna make sure they're all tight. I'm gonna go around each one of them. They are tight. I know they're tight. You don't want to over tighten them because look, they're not going to spin as well. They're going to spin just fine. Okay. Okay, you think that's fine? I do. Okay. I don't think you want to over tighten them. Well, they have come out. The, the problem was in the last one, some of them came out. Okay, you can put Loctite on them. I can put Loctite on them. Okay. I'm torquing them really tight. Actually, you know what? They're, they are. Uh... They've got lock on them. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Now the hard part. Yeah. All right. You got the camera. And my fancy tripod. I claimed it as mine. <laughs> yeah, I'll check. I'd probably go over there. Well, how much do you want? Because I can see you from the knees down. Oh, go back so you can see more of the whole, the, just the whole thing that's going on. Ugh, that's, that's a problem now. I guess we can use, you're right, we can use this thing to jack this up a bit higher here. Mm hmm You're right. This is not intentionally left for either, it's just, uh... really gonna get in your way if you can avoid it. Right here. You can lift the track from back here, right? Yeah. Um is that enough room? Who knows? Is that enough room in the right spot? Who knows? Probably not no because I get this right here. Yeah. So, gotta go. so you gotta move it then. It's gonna have to get in your way probably. Yeah. I was hoping we could avoid it, but... It can only be so much in the way that I'm going to have to go back here, probably. Can you do it on a super steep angle? Uh, I mean a super steep angle. Oh, but no, because we've got to be able to... Underneath it? No. I guess we could kind of go on an angle, but like, obviously we have to be able to get underneath the... One of these prong things. Yeah. I can soothe my muscles. Oh, it is getting better though. I think you're pulling in the wrong way. Nope, it's going the right way. Okay. I need like that. There we go, we're good. Well, ish. You gotta make sure it's lined up. 
She's actually lined up, but we gotta get it in. So we gotta, oh, I can lift more. You gotta lift up a bit more. Okay. Hold on, let me get my fingers in. Oh, I know. We actually have to let it off. Let it off? Now that you're under the track? Yeah. You're actually creating too much tension at the back. There you go. Now try. It should slide a lot better in now. Nope. Hold on. Oh, it's... It's, it's clapping. There's a second, there's a second track there, a second spool thing on the rear. That, oh, that you've got to get over? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's close. What if you gave me a bar that I wedged yeah, in yeah, here Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get a pry bar. That should be fine. We're gonna go with it? No, it's not gonna be enough. We need to go. Like, You're not gonna get far from there. I'm gonna go in oh. here. Like, here, can you push hold up on this? I'll push him. It's close. You can lift a bit more. Lightly tap this, not the bushing. I know that the bearing. Where's my hammer? Oh, right here. All right, lift up. Why did you put a piece of wood here? No. That is so damaged. Yeah, I've just... already pried on it a ton. I don't want to wreck it even more. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we need to lift up on, on here with this thing now. With what thing? Hold that out. The oh, farm jack? Yeah. Okay. Just on the lip, eh? It's a try it. It wasn't so dang heavy. Right in here is where you want to go. Yeah, I know. Bar in. I just don't want this thing to fall on me. The pry bar or this thing? This thing. Is that an okay spot? Can you see? Oh, yeah. There, we're in. Okay. The top is. Top is. That's that's all that matters. Okay, we're good. You, you can mean? let go. Pull that out. Let me see. Would this work? Just give you a little lift. Yeah, the thing is that you're you're prying, prying on against me. what you're trying to pull. I'm trying right? to push in. Okay, so we need a bit more up here again. Just a tiny bit though, not too much, because I think that's what's making it too tight. Oh, you're lifting your thing. Now, the problem is trying to line up these. Oh, that actually. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now it's like Volkswagens. I know, it's like regular cars. 
Yeah. So now we need to lift it up again because now it's lined up. Okay. We gotta. Got it on. Got all these bolts in and tightened that hold the uh, whole plate on. Grease this thing so make sure that it's not going to be seized again. It was really tight last time. So I'm just going to tighten the track up again and uh, put that plate that's just sitting underneath there back on here and we're good to go. Thank goodness. I don't even know what the proper tension is for a skid steer track. Excavator tracks I'm pretty good with. I've never loosened one on one of these before. Mine is John Deere's. They pop off and they usually have these stupid things there. But pretty much it's either on or it's off. And you just use the grease gun to tighten it back up. Let's see what the other side's like. The other side's pretty similar to this. Get a bit more turn. Don't want to be too tight because it hurts though. Pretty good in my opinion. Yeah. I can always tighten it later. This one's even tighter. I think this is just a, not to make sure that the track doesn't loosen. That's good. All right, now we get this piece here. Sitting in the water for a while. Nice and tight, I'm sure. Oh, geez. Oh, wow, that must be from keeping the bearing from wobbling.
seems almost like it's just a Good fire. Actually, this one could go there. my impact. Oh, it's up there.
bearing to spin on its own, actually. It should. Way it's shorter. It just started raining. Oh wow, that one's really big. 